Hello everyone! In this video, you will learn how to remove the background of pictures directly in Microsoft programs. For that, as an exercise, we will remove the backgrounds of these pictures, and we will start with a simpler example. Let's say we want to point the finger from this image at an important value in this report, for example, Berlin's value for July. To do this, we must first remove the white background of the picture, and this can be done very easily directly in Microsoft Office programs without resorting to Photoshop or other similar programs. The first step is to add the desired picture to the worksheet. So I go to the Insert tab, click on the Pictures button, and here choose to select the picture from the current device. In the window that opens, go to the desired picture, select it, and click on Insert. Good. The picture was inserted successfully, so let's make it a little smaller and move it a bit to the side. Now let's remove the background of this picture. Click on it, go to the Picture Format tab, and select the Remove Background command. OK, and the background removal tool shows in purple which areas of the picture have been detected as a background. If we click on the Keep Changes button, then this highlighted area of the picture will be cut out. Let's do it. And as we can see, Excel correctly recognized most of the hand as the target, and only some parts of the fingertip and sleeve remained unrecognized. This means that we now have to manually add these missing parts to the selection. So click on the Remove Background button again, and then click on Mark Areas to Keep. The mouse pointer turns into this pencil symbol when we hover over the picture, and so now we need to indicate the missing parts. Left click, and the fingertip is added. Great! Also, we need to add the sleeve. In its case, it is easier to mark areas by holding down the left mouse button and drawing small lines. OK, we've perfectly added the sleeve to the selection, and the edges of the hand are well defined. So now we can click on the Keep Changes button to remove the background of the picture. Also, let's crop this picture straight away. Right-click it and select the Crop option. Now drag these edge symbols to crop the blank parts of the picture as much as possible, and then select one of the cells on the worksheet to confirm the picture cropping. OK, the background removal worked well, but sometimes the edges of the pictures can look a bit not quite neat afterwards as we can see it here. In such cases, adding a light shadow effect usually helps a lot. And here's how we can add a shadow effect. Select the picture and go to the Picture Format tab. Here click on Picture Effects and in the Shadow section select the Central Shadow option. OK, and the picture is already looking good. And if we scale it down, the edges will look even better. OK, adjust the tilt of the picture, place it in the right position, and so we've completed the task and pointed to the required value with this hand symbol. By the way, we can also cut out not only the background of such pictures, but also their fill. Let me show you. I'll add another copy of this picture, go to the background removal section, and remove the background as well as the fill of this picture. OK, and this time we only have the outline of the picture. Great! And as the title of the video tells, this method works not only in Excel, but also in Word and PowerPoint. As an example, I will open Word, insert the same picture, and remove the background, just like how we did it in Excel. And an interesting fact is, we can just copy such a processed picture and easily paste it into another Microsoft program. And with such an insertion, information about the background removal will also be preserved. In addition, pictures processed in this way can be saved without background in PNG format. Just right-click the desired picture and select the Save as Picture option. Next, select where the image should be saved, make sure that the PNG format is selected, adjust the name, and click on the Save button. Since we've saved the picture as a PNG, it has no background. OK, in the end I also want to show that this built-in background remover works not only with such simple pictures, but also with photos. Here I insert my photo and remove the background from it pretty quickly and neatly. Great! Now we know how to use the built-in tool for removing background from pictures in Microsoft Office programs. If this video was useful for you, please consider subscribing to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now!